I am Ripper the Clown from Ripper the Clown Show on YouTube.com and I'm here today to discuss one of my all-time favorite films, The Blues Brothers, starring John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd as Jake and Elwood Blues. Now, The Blues Brothers is an absolute timeless classic in American cinema. It is a comedic masterpiece from start to finish. I have seen it literally hundreds of times and every time I see it, it's just still fresh and unique and just brilliant. And John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd were perfect as the Blues Brothers, and uh, I really admire both of them as comedians. Unfortunately, John Belushi left us way too soon. That man was an absolute g genius. He was just absolutely brilliant. And um, both Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi have inspired Ripper the Clown in my crazy comedy world. And as you could see, the Blues Brothers have a place of honor on Ripper the Clown's hat amid all the other comedic and uh, pop culture influences in my comedy career. So today I want to do an impersonation from the Blues Brothers from one of my favorite lines. And again, I've quoted the Blues Brothers for my entire life. There are so many classic lines. And the line that I'm going to do today is not from Dan Aykroyd or John Belushi. It's from Charles Napier, a character actor who played Tucker McElroy, who was one of the good old boys. And uh, you may remember Charles Napier from various other TV appearances, including The Incredible Hulk. He actually voiced The Incredible Hulk after Ted Cassidy died. Yeah, Lou Ferrigno's acting abilities were apparently so bad he couldn't even grunt and growl on his own. And they had Ted Cassidy, a.k.a. Lurch, from the Addams Family do the grunting and growling until he died. And then, I guess for some reason, instead of using just audio of Ted Cassidy grunting and growling, they hired Charles Napier, and he became the voice of the Hulk, furnishing the grunting and growling and snarling. So, regarding the scene that I'm about to impersonate, I should give you a little background information real quick. Uh, what's transpired is that the Blues Brothers have accidentally usurped the good old boy's performance at Bob's Country Bunker. And after putting on their show, the Blues Brothers, Jake and Elwood, they're out in the parking lot and they're trying to nonchalantly and clandestinely leave because they've racked up a huge bar tab at Bob's Country Bunker. And while they're in the parking lot, the uh, good old boys in Winnebago pulls up and uh, Jake Blues goes over there and intercepts the good old boys before they can go into Bob's Country Bunker. And Jake Blues pretends to be the head of the musicians union and they have this uh, heated exchange where Jake Blues wants to see their union cards which prompts Charles Napier to say, and I need to turn kind of sideways because that's how it was in the movie, he says, what if we ain't got no union cards and we go in there and start playing anyway? Now what you gonna do with that? You gonna stop us? Stan? <laughs> You're going to look pretty funny trying to eat corn on the cob with no teeth. That was the edited for television version of that quote. And uh, I have to admit that my Charles Napier impersonation is pretty lacking. It's pretty bad. I'm not going to claim that it's otherwise. I just like doing that quote so I can edit out the naughty word there at the end. And uh, But I should counter with something semi-decent. So uh, what actually happens after that is that Jake Blue said that they will talk to Bob and see if they can get him on, the good old boys on a waiver for that night. Jake walks away and Dan Aykroyd says, we'll talk to Bob. Which I actually think that is a really good impersonation of Dan Aykroyd. I'll do it again for you right here. We'll talk to Bob. So even though my Charles Napier impersonation is pretty bad, I had to leave you with that really, really kick-ass Dan Aykroyd impersonation. So there you have it. And if you don't like my impersonations, if you don't like the Blues Brothers, if you don't like this video, all I can say to you is that you're going to look pretty funny trying to eat corn on the cob with no f teeth.